Well, shit. Let's talk about what happened on Monday Night Raw in the main event. Becky Lynch is our new Raw Women's Champion. Didn't expect that one coming out of tonight's episode of Monday Night Raw. I thought the obvious choice was going to be Liv Morgan winning it. At the end of the match, Becky Lynch lands manhandle slam and eliminates Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan being the queen of runner-ups, by the way. Just absolute queen of second place, I guess we can say. And I just want to settle things here. Everybody knows I'm a Liv Morgan fan. I was rooting for Liv. I believed that it was the obvious choice, but then after everything settled in, and after I really thought about it, I, I think Becky Lynch was the right move here. Um, and I'm going to take a deeper dive into that. One of the things being, if the st storyline is going to be Liv Morgan's revenge tour, it's not about winning the women's title. It's about taking everything away from Rhea Ripley. She already did that. She did that by injuring Rhea Ripley and forcing her to vacate her women's championship. There's scenario number one of why I think Liv Morgan didn't win the title. Will she win the title? Absolutely. I think closer to WrestleMania season, maybe even as soon as SummerSlam, uh, we could be seeing Liv Morgan as Raw Women's Champion, but for now, Becky Lynch just needs to go on an absolute tear. I know she was rumored to have months off, and that's clearly not going to be the case now, but if we get a solid Becky Lynch title reign where she goes on an absolute tear, revamps the women's division, uplifts it, develop stars much like she did in NXT where she just uplifted the likes of Tiffany Stratton. Whether you want to look at it as she uplifted her, she ended up taking the NXT women's title away from her, but we'll that's a whole different story. Anyways, went out there, had bangers with the likes of Tiffany Stratton, went out there, uplifted the likes of Tegan Knox. And then of course you had your up and coming Lyra Valkyria, who went on and held the NXT title after defeating Becky Lynch for it at an NXT PLE. I think it's going to be a similar situation to that where uh, we get all of these Becky Lynch open challenges, and for the next two or three months, Becky Lynch just goes on an absolute tear, and then the women's division feels important again. Not saying Rhea Ripley didn't make it feel important because I loved her title reign, but it was lacking on uh, the uh, title defense ends. Like, I felt like there wasn't a whole lot of Rhea Ripley just being in the women's division outside of WrestleMania season. So I'm very interested to see what they have in store for Becky Lynch's title reign. As for Liv Morgan, where I think we are going with this is 100% Rhea Ripley's going to take her time. She's going to recover. We might see her as soon as Survivor Series, possibly. I think they should hold off until the Royal Rumble. Let Rhea Ripley go on and win the Rumble. I know, we've seen it before. She went on to WrestleMania, defeated Charlotte Flair for the SmackDown Women's title, and then held that said title for over a year. But let her win that. Let Liv Morgan win the title at SummerSlam, Survivor Series, the Royal Rumble, whatever it is, sending us into... WrestleMania season for WrestleMania 41 as Rhea Ripley takes on the champion Liv Morgan for the Women's World Heavyweight Championship. And that way, people don't have a real chance to flip-flop on Liv Morgan, whether they want to keep moving forward with this heel side of Liv Morgan or if they want to carry on with a babyface side of her. You can do what you gotta do. Triple H. We all know he's a very wise man and creative. He's done nothing but great things since taking over the WWE. And I'm just going to leave my faith in his hands. I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be something that we're going to look back on and a lot of people are shitting on it now. But I want to know your opinions down in the comments section. Make sure to leave a like on today's video. If you guys want to see more face-to-face, -face, just us talking here face-to-face, -face, I guess camera-to-face, -face, if you want to say, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. When we reach 3,000 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway. You should totally check out the video linked in the description where I did a story time out of WWE Road to WrestleMania live event in Manchester, New Hampshire. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you, bye.